Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, in which we're now playing as Ejercito Libertador del Sur, basically Mexican Zapata. It's insane, the Eternal Revolution finds a home in Zapata. The fourth and final son of Tlaloc, like a moth to the flames, Zapata is taken to the ideals of his human counterpart fiercely, seeking to eradicate inequality and poverty throughout Mexico. Created by Tlaloc to uproot ineffective feudal systems of government and cartels preventing efficient reconstruction, Zapata tackles a problem that dragged him into life. However, due to the inherent American biases within Tlaloc's historical database, Zapata suffers from an inaccurate reading of his own ideology, portraying him as a man who advocated for democracy and land reform as a communist. As such, he raises a red flag which he never marched under in life, in a wasteland where the class struggle continues in a new, uh, bastard form. But we have the death of Big Daddy. The death of Tlaloc. <clears throat> Zapata was the third son of Tlaloc, created to handle Mexico's northwest frontier. A land of cartels, slavers, and other autocrats, Tlaloc uh, calculated that, Zapata, that, Mexican, that the Mexican best suited to opposing these barbarians was Zapata, a Mexican revolutionary from the early 19th century. Breaking of chains. Before Tlaloc's death, the Legion encroached on northern Mexico and actually invaded the Republic of the Rio Grande. How did Zapata respond? Also, to let you know, we are using, uh, we're right at the beginning here. I made sure that Tlaloc died immediately because I don't want to deal with having to wait super, 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 super long to get started with this, so we're also using Over Blues, Over Blues Radio, Tech Expanded, uh, Fast Justification. Actually, Fast Justification. Uh, yeah, why not? Better to die on your, knee, on your feet than to live on your knees. I don't like being on my knees. Anyways, um, Emiliano Zapata was a hero of the Mexican Revolution, an advocate for the land reform. Equality for all Mexicans and democracy, naturally, he was a symbol to many who resisted America's pre-war occupation, and most of Tlaloc's image of this man was filtered through this lens. The American database Tlaloc had access to portrayed Zapata as a radical communist who wanted red Mexico instead of just one of many Mexicans who fought for a more equal just society. This meant that the AI Zapata quickly outgrew its original mandate of protecting the frontier through human resources management and instead dreamed of a Mexican revolution. How did he pursue that? Oh, uh, He gave the land to those who worked with it with their hands. He recognized that justice comes from a rock in one's hand. Well, maybe not a rifle, but maybe a robot. Uh, we're gonna go with this one. We're gonna be very nice. Oh wait, was the refugee system back? Wait, I've not seen this in a very long time. Refugees, huh? Or maybe I've just played nothing but uh, nations that do not have the refugee system. Oh, we also have advanced power management, which is pretty good. We have steel legions, which is very strong, and then we have unassimilated refugees, which is weird. Okay, well, or maybe this wasn't updated for that. I have no idea. Regardless, uh, mobilize people for their own good. The heroes of the first revolution, not bad. The Red Guards. Attack defense of core territory. Much more leader cost, though. The Banco Nacional de Credito Rural. Tlaloc defense procedures. Uh, more population beeps. Ooh. What do we want here? I want to go to war. You get a Sultron, so. Open the stockpiles. Ooh. Well, let's go with this class struggle. Vor Zapata can free the people of Mexico. He. Oh. Oh, my bad. He must win the class struggle in his heartland. To die a slave to principles, not to men. Uh, although Guerra and the Rio Grande's leadership were convinced that they defeated Legion single-handedly, they ignored Zapata's rule. During the Legion's invasion, Zapata launched surgical strikes on Legion supply depots, or provided glory with intelligence. Ooh, I like both, actually. We have five research slots, which is pretty impressive. Um, we also have this civilized tech for Old World Blues to get expanded. We're pretty mid on everything. Um, air technology would be nice, but we can... Because we have five research slots. We can make planes faster, but we don't have the industry quite yet for us. Let's go with electronics, so we can use that more immediately. Um, so with that in mind, I would like to... Ooh, break the cartels. Well, let's open the stockpiles. I want more robots just in case. Tlaloc spent the last 200 years building robots for a war that never came. Well, never came when he was around. Because we are we do have some civvies. And I guess we do have some infantry here, but... We are revolutionaries, my friends. We're not guardias. 14 combat with infantry. Garbage. Revolutionaries, some heavy and some light robots. I have get, did receive some comments in the past videos where they some people said you should use only straight robots. And by straight robots, like only use heavy robots in your divisions, only use uh, light robots. So I'm not really sure. Let's see if I did that, the organization would drop by five. But you get quite a bit more soft attack, but you actually lose some hard attack and some defense. Quite a bit of defense. You get quite a bit more breakthrough, so they're more aggressive on attack and a little more armor. I think it's a mixed bag. You can do either one. I think overall, I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. Well, that's not looking good for us here, is it? That's why I wanted the robots. As fast as possible. And you know what? Zapata, I mean, that just makes sense. He's an inspirational. A beloved leader. Um, 
Yeah, we can recover faster when we get there. Why not? Oh, so we have Punch Via here, too. Ah, good. Uh, these guys will probably die really fast. They're 3% strength. So let's give it a couple days. Let's get the cluster. Goal. When do we need to use this by? At April 19th. So we have a little bit of time, not a lot of time. It takes 60 days for this. So, oh, that's support robots, though. Combat language is nice, though. And we do have not coffee here as a caffeine drink, but a Rockstar Pure Zero. The first time I've ever had this on the channel. Go figure. I'm branching out to other uh, energy drinks or just caff ways of consumption. So, Mr. Gutsies. Yeah, it's going to take some time to get there. Uh, you're going to get defeated immediately. Maybe we should not have converted them. You know what? Throw you back up here and stay like right there, maybe. Oh, actually, stay right there. Cluster is nice. And then open the stockpiles. And then more bunkers. Why the heck did he build all those robots? Oh well, that's an opportunity for us. Uh, we're in waste on economy, which is not bad. I would like more political power though. Automated warfare. Ooh, this is not bad either. Ah, we do have a ship. That's probably gonna get blown up very quickly. Still in wall border. Oh, there you go. Nice. Happy April. We're already working on that, so let's grab this. Alright, let's see what we can do. Oops, we're still on the naval screen. Oh, you do not have orders. God dang it. There you go. You should be able to do fine down here. I want you to go down to here to there. There to there. And circle that division and kill them all off. That's cool. Uh, you have two divisions, which is actually pretty decent overall. You get down there too. You start moving out that way. Um, oh, we're on Klelox Stagnation, which is fine for now. I'm not super concerned. Anything down here? No cultural advisors. Seems like a mistake. Oh, I've got some good stuff down here, though. Do we have anything down here? Ooh, Petro Chico. Ah. It's not bad. We only get 1.16 political power every single day. What do we have over here? Organic subroutines. Organization. That's pretty good, too. Robotic. Ooh, more attack and defense immediately would be nice. Aggressive focus. More speed and attack. Ooh, I like both of these, though. Aerial focus. Ooh, that's good to do. grab, too. But as much as I want this one... Air auction and naval auction, those are pretty easy to get overall. Um, this one's just the best one to do. I'm glad they're attacking the divisions that are not super strong. Hey, look at that. And encirclement. Here, yeah, just up right here, real quick. The faster you destroy them, the better. This is also good for army speed, too. Good! You head right here. Secret languages are nice. We're gonna come over here and grab what? A standing army. I should go right there and just literally just cut them off. Go that, that Or just go I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. Uh, left the board's a little bit open. That's not ideal, but whatever. Kind of like their boards right now. A little bit open. You know what? Just go right there. You can wrap them up a little bit faster that way. Since we're here, let's go and do this too. Ruler? Ah, you bet we are. Honestly, it doesn't make any sense. We should be leaders of the people. Should we not be? Yeah, I guess that makes some sense for where we're at. Let's go and grab El Foro. I don't need to go right there too. Proclamation Authority is very nice. We also wanted to take these guys out. Ooh, you want to build this? Please go ahead. Um, I went this direction just because I want to take out uh, and get a blah, 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 blah. trade node. That's what they call them. Usually. Nice. There we go. Nice. There we go. We got him. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, five more ships. Look at that. We didn't even get the robots done yet. Open the stockpiles. Break the cartels next, maybe. The bot will go to war and destroy the cartels that plague the people of Mexico. Yay, at least we got some more robots here. did that one. Um, there's one right here. There we go. 
a little ahead of time. We'll grab that. Uh, we're doing automated warfare already, which is good. Support companies is still a little ahead of time. We'll grab some of that. Let's travel scout kits, maybe eventually. Uh, but I won't come down here because it gets more political power. Or it's your speed, at least for now. Revolutionaries. Pierre B. Look at from above. Look at that. Nice. Fast metabolism. How inspirational. Fantastic. Well, we'll see if we can actually do anything here. Uh, I really don't care, so... You know what? Lord by what? Oh, destroying the vice royalty. Ghoul slavers and pirates are simply not compatible with the workers of Utopia as the pot is building. But you can remove them with one simple trick. Let's get some more robots first. Because we have that permanently done? Yeah, we do. Nice. I destroyed the vice royalty, ghoul slavers... Oh, yeah, I just read this one. Uh, break the cartels, we did. Uh, free the fighters. The luchadors could be the valuable members of the popular front with, with guidance from Zapata. Or the anti-imperialist war. Oh, it's Mazatlan. Well, the heroes of the First Revolution. Mexico's First Revolution was led by people who dreamed of a better Mexico. Including not just heroes like Zapata, but artists who dreamed of a better tomorrow like Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo. Let us embrace their heritage. Heritage is important. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do we have here? Refugees? We'll assimilate them eventually. Eventually they're all going to be refugees, or they're not going to be refugees at all, because we're going to have everyone here. So, we need quite a few of this. Um, economic advisors. Uh, I need more output, really. Building some... We have nine already, which is pretty nice. You know what? Increase that first. There we go. 150 is pretty good. Many prospectors? Nice. Ooh. Down here. Are you still disabled? No, you're not. Good. We got out. Fallen Creed. Nice. Beautiful. All this political power, what are we going to spend it on? Um, that's your concern. Infrastructure, we're not really building infrastructure just yet. Ooh. What about manufacturer? Sure, why not? More bunkers, nice. Free the fighters. Okay, let's, let's get more stability first, why not? Alright, so what do we have? Crowd control. We probably want some spec ops equipment eventually. And then uh, red guards. Or we build the roads. I get more factors, which would be pretty nice. Or the Banco Nacional de Credito Rural. El Cito Libertador del Sur can help fund the peasants of Mexico and their new collectives. And their increased productivity will benefit the revolution too. Alright, so we do this. Can we do well here? I have no idea. You guys are going to attack. I know they were going to attack us, and we don't have very much here, but they are fighting over a river, and they're only infantry, supposedly. So. I think we should be fine. We should be fine overall. Before we end the war, we need to do that too. Yeah, let's go for robots. We actually started with 50 army XP when we got rid of Clearlock. And that's good experience for this guy too. Pierre B. Doesn't sound very Mexican to me. Whatever. Who am I? Oh. We made another division. Look at that. Nice. As long as it can't pierce us, we'll be fine. Which means we need to make way more robots. We actually have enough support robots, though. So, stack them up. There goes Capitol Hill. Make them thick. Fight over that river, babies. Not, not, not enough political power. Never enough political power, man. So, Pancho Villa. He's learning. But you also need to be a uh, robotics expert. And after you're a robotics expert, supply consumption. Ooh, here's the revolution. Nice. Reinforcement wouldn't be bad. Militia. I want to make these campaigns where I'm using. Well, I try to, but not all. It usually doesn't happen. Different from each other slightly. Uh, I always do like it because it's, it's so good. More, more recovery rate, yes, please. So these, yes. Anything else here? Ah. 
I recap for the army. Let's get him just down something. How much money do we have now? 22 a month. Not bad. You go right there. You can circle a couple more divisions. Very good. Crawl control gear. Nice. Working on that still. Awesome. Planes? I think so. Dia de los muertos. Strange but quaint tradition. Nice. Oh, look at that. And circle divisions. Who could have thought of that one? That's more guns, huh? Oh, we're not even making guns. Uh, uh, probably don't want those ones. We want actual guns, not <laughs> melee weaponry. There you go. Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Um, so after this one, I guess we need, need more guns, so... Rebuild the roads? Why not? Uh, fine. Duty is a stony road and smooth it by concern for the people. I guess we could buy more guns, but I don't want to spend money on that stuff. Research speed? Nice. Better hop out, because you can. Don't you be up? You doing okay? You, on the other hand, are hanging out, having a good old time. Not too much else to add there. Uh, Zapata. Attack. Hmm. Equipment capture ratio. 5%. Ooh, actually. Tank, behemoth, light touch. Oh, where's the robot one? Cutting leader. Smooth talker. Cold of personality. I mean, cold of personality sounds like the, the obvious choice. But he's also beloved. And that makes sense, too. Anything else for ro Oh, no. We're quite ahead of time for robots. That's only 73 days. That's fine. Go ahead and do it. Um, don't rebuild the roads. Travel stuff. So, you head out. Here. Good refugees more, I guess. Guns for the people. Mechs will not be one without with the thought alone. More rivals will help. I agree. A hundred percent. Mazatlan. Oh, this is Mazatlan. I thought that was Moxuma's place. I was mistaken. Hmm, we're good for now. And we do want planes here too. Cowboy country. Um, let's get more war support just in case. Eh, we're gonna war support. Eh, we do it anyways. Put that at the bottom. That's not super, super important to get right now. Because we're just out of heavy, a crap ton of heavy robots. See, we have CNC robots too. Um, revolutionaries. It hurts your armor a little bit too. Actually, quite a bit. 1.5, huh? The organization does go up though. So it's worth it. You know, you go down here, you wrap them up and around. You do that. Have fun. So with that in mind, robotic focus. You betcha. We build the roads and guns for the people. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, very good. Let them all kill each other. Actually, what what happens there? Um, these people are all killing each other too. Uh, Lloyd's Ministry, Battle of Brigade, Commonwealth Remnants, Vermilion Wainwright. You guys have a unique focus for you? Iron Confederacy, no. No, this is a generic reworked one. Vermilion, Mosquito, White Court. Okay, just want to make sure we don't miss too much when we play it through A to Z. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. The executives. What do we have here next? Uh, research speed? Yes. Empiricism. We are intellectuals, my friends. Uh, energy would be not bad, but uh, work for the people. Santa's birthday. Well, we don't really care about Santa. No. People of Mexico can now strive for a glorious future as part of the local robot construction union. Amen. I'll do that nice. Um, over here, we're going to grab some of that. And. Give me love, nice. Good. What a boros and the dry blowers. They blow really dry. It sounds painful. Or just not very much fun. No, you go right there. You go right there. You just cut across. Guns for the people. Work for the people. Seed selection. Just in case. Ah, uh, oh, we got them finally. Took a little longer than I thought, but that's alright. 
fighters, eh? Because eventually our brothers are going to come for us too, but you know, I'm not super worried about that for now. Um, go ahead and train real, real quick. Real quick. We'll go at least five for now. It's fine. Whatever. Um, sure, we'll do that one. That sounds pretty good to us. Refugees. We have 2,300 unassimilated refugees, huh? Hurts our stability a little bit. 178 will be assimilated. Nice. Every course they get to 35 population. Seriously, did they take out the refugee system? Or is this brand new? Or or, or they really put it back in? It's not brand new. I've, I've used it before. I've actually manipulated it before. Um, weird. I thought they got rid of it. Efficiency focus. That's not bad. 5% more is pretty good. Resource efficiency gain. Energy cell capacity. We're probably going to use that one in the end eventually. Uh, 8%. I prefer 10%. 10% sounds better to me. What else is down here? Ship designer. Not super important. Uh, Petro Chico Air. Uh, more research speed. Air equipment technology research speed. It's not by much, though. So we're going to work for the people. And then what? Industry. Ooh. Cooling systems and sentry bots. Monthly population. Appeal to refugees. Mm. Ooh, work for the people. Nice. Uh, the defense protocols? Kalok defense protocols? Kalok provided all of his subroutines with defensive protocols, but they were corrupted during his death. With sufficient reformatting, we can unlock the ability to use them. Might as well. Might as well, you know. Because what do we have over here? High-end robots, precision motors. Ooh. Assaultrons. You get stuff early on. Yeah. Ooh. 10% more political power. Yeah, I think I might have to go that way. Arm the humans. Well, the men and women of Mexico are one of the are one of the AI's most important resources. In the grim dark future, where there's only war, lasers are hard to build, but you can always make more humans. That's true. And we also have the anti-imperialists war. Moctezuma and Maximilian, emperors of Mexico's past, now strive to seize control of Tlalocan. Zapata must show them that the future belongs to the people, guided by their AI. The emperors from Mexico, we can go to war with their brothers, uh, break the army, perpetual revolution. Oh! Oh, we get cores. Oh, yeah. La República Socialista Mexicana. And liberate the cell. On claims on all. Oh, all Mexico. How oh, nice. I love my Mexican daddies. Anyways, very good. So a little ahead of time still. Oh, uh, you know what? We can do this one. Why not? Quality. I always do quality. We we'll do quantity. Let's do quantity for this campaign. Something different. Slightly different. All right. So. We wanted to. Would we do okay against these guys? We better go to war them before they have. Uh, they already have anti tank. Uh oh. Well, we better wait then. Oh god. But how many divisions do they have? Well, let's save regardless, and then we'll figure out how many divisions they have. Because if they have less than ten, we can probably do well against them. We'll have to be smart about their organiz about uh, encircling them and watch out for their motorized. Oh nope, they've got to have ten to twenty three. Okay then. Uh, how many do our brothers have? Because we might focus on them more than two thousand manpower. Ooh. Are we the ones with like no men? Okay, we have like no men. No or no no divisions, I should really say. Um, well, it looks like we're just gonna have to wait and sit here for a little longer um, to actually build up our armies because we don't have the industrial base just yet for what we really could use. You know what? Oh, slightly more output. It's not gonna be that much more. But we're gonna grab this one. It's four percent more. Defense protocols are nice. Um, free the fighters. Yeah, I'll also do that one. And we read that one too. No emperors for Mexico. Why? We don't know why. It's really created an AI. Excuse me. Um, based on a French emperor who tried to exploit Mexico, but we do know how to delete him. Uh, the Red Guard. Zapata can form a paramilitary corps consisting of those who subscribe to neo syndicalist Zapata and that. All candidates must, of course, explain to Zapata. Who knows what it entails, but won't tell you. <laughs> oh, we're not supposed to arm the humans. Yeah. Uh, recognize. The Veeps. The Lux lands contain a hereditary elite known as the Veeps. Many of them are looking for stability and confirmation. Uh, their status in the time since of death, we can provide that in exchange for their service. Oh, this one too. This will be good to do as well. Rough contesting sites. Oh, it's generic. Uh, descriptions. Oh, not good. Not good. Stability consumer. Ooh. Look at all we got here. Women in our armed surface? I mean, I guess. Well, we're going to go this one next. And we'll do that. We'll go down straight through. Steps of communes. People of Mexico used to break their sh need to break their shackles of tyranny and organize under free and autonomous communes. Fully automated neo anarcho zapatism. Working together, the people of Mexico can strive to build advanced technology. Fuel for the factories. Zapata cannot prevail without a proper supply of raw materials and recycled food. 
That's seven citizens' final duty to go into the tank. So actually, we're doing a lot better than I thought we would. We've taken three casualties. They've been attacking our lines like crazy. We killed off 3,400, which is a pretty good casualty ratio so far. Um, other than that, we're just having a good old time beating them up. Ooh, factory output. Yes, please. My God, do we need more factory output? Until we get all of Mexico. And once we have all of Mexico, it'll be fine. But I guess, you know, once we have all of Mexico, I guess the campaign's probably over. Um, other than that, we've added on a couple guys. Organization subroutine, robotic subroutine with uh, aerodynamic subroutine. Pretty normal stuff. We also have, of course, Frank Mitchell, which is, doesn't sound very robotic, but, you know, whatever. Um, let's see. You know what? I want to build a more infrastructure in cities, and we'll get enough military factories eventually. Oh, factory output would be nice. You know what? I never would choose efficiency subroutine. We're going to do that one. We're doing the right guards. We've got egalitarianism, which makes perfect sense for us. Um, resistance growth, compliance growth, psychoanalysis? Yes. Sigmund Freud. Put me on your end couch. And frontline platoons. Does that include robots? Yeah, it does. Okay. Sure, why not? What do we have here? Ah, better support equipment. Um, I mean, I guess. Siege of Hidden Valley? Well, that's nice. Yeah, we're doing a lot better than I thought we would. Seriously. Um, other than that, what we're going to do is establish communes. Yeah, of course, you know, the people of Mexico need to break from, free from their shackles of tyranny and organize into free and autonomous communes. Absolutely. 100%. Still have refugees, but no one cares. And we're causing the refugee crisis, but don't tell that to anybody. Aggressive, uh, I like defense and organization, but speed and more attack. That sounds like fun. More attack, please. When in doubt, just attack, attack, and attack, and attack, and attack. Because we like to maximize our attack. Cool. Negative 1100, whatever. So make it some savings. Actually, we are working on two at a time, which is pretty nice. So eventually, we want to build up our resources more and infrastructure, because I love building infrastructure. I really need to play City Skylines. You know, I might just wait and wait to do that. Because uh, I have City Skylines. I probably should just do a... Uh, just wait for the second game to come out first. Nice. If you could win here first. Oh, you have, like, no armor. Or you have, like, just nothing in there in that division. You get down there, you could have encircled them and killed them off if you were good enough, but they were not. Big sadness, I know. Uh, I'll close that one out. Eagle Rock, nice. I still have some fight on them left, though. But my god, uh, they're very exposed in some of these sections. Oh, at least we have made an instrument there. Yeah, go that direction. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're dead. Yeah. Go here, that's more important. Uh, the army XP is pretty good, though. Pretty nice. Oh, you have five divisions now. We have 12 in total. Um. Lead foot. Organization wants to be moving. Reinforce faster. Uh, no matter what happens, recovery is always good, too, for organization. Uh, that's what we could really use. Nice. We're going to keep working with uh, one city, one million at all times. My god, you take forever to make Alright, so with that in mind. There you go, 90%. That's good. Uh, we would like to core this tile, too, but we need a lot of energy for that. Hmm. Good core. Or we could core this one. Oh, this is way more. For 30? Oh, yeah. Let's go this one. Oh, we can't go this one. Dang it. We need more energy. Staff and communes. Heck yeah. And no emperors from Mexico, like we read earlier. So we've lost five. Holy crap. Versus 6,100. That must really suck. You can always make more humans, of course. Oh. Oopsie. Should have done that one earlier. Oopsie. Should have done that one earlier, too. There you go. Plenty of PP. That's the case. Mercenary training instructors. Even though we should already have that as a robot nation, but whatever. Option. Nice. Psychoanalysis. After psychoanalysis, we're actually going to come back here and do radio. Yeah. Better reinforce rate. Better coordination. Diplomacy distance. We don't care about refugee assimilation difference or distance or whatever it is. Factor. Oh, we assimilate them factor. Yeah. Could be worse. Um, the coffee cooperatives. One of the founding principles of neo anarcho zapatismo thought is the formation of agricultural cooperatives. And no crop is more important than coffee. Amen. Coffee cooperatives will let Mexico's people free themselves from Costa Cafe's uh, a capitalist exploitation and will taste pretty good in the morning. Oh, amen. I mean, uh, for the people, yes. Standing rock. Get these more planes. Get these more military factors in general, but whatever. Decode signals, nice. And more encryption. 
You know what? What if you both just went here? Oh, we got encircled. Not bueno. Maybe that. Cool. Slowly getting there. Still have only lost five versus their seven thousand. That's a beautiful thing. Since you're heading down there anyways, there you go. We lost Mucus. Won't you? Mucus? No, what? screw it. Get up there. The Broken Masks. So after them, we'll probably go either way over the cartel up here or one of these guys. Probably the cartel, because it's probably easier to be beat them out. Hey! Drop things after. Very nice. So, how much more manpower do they have? They have Russell Mongers, Legends of the Monsters, Followers of the Apocalypse Rejected, Las Tres Mascaras, the three masks. I have less than a thousand manpower. Nice. Good signals. Good. And I'm going down one anyways, because you can. Good. And then, as one. I'm about to break over the river. Love it. Yeah, the river, river fighting is only bad if you can't break over. Or if you can't defend. Either one. Do any other upgrades? No. I always forget to check sometimes when I'm playing the game. Nope, unfortunately not. Oh, right. Ooh, that's a good idea. War Industrialist. You know what? I'm going to choose stuff that I've not chosen before. Ooh, 40 army speed. God, God. I would. I definitely choose this one normally. And we should. But we're going to have to choose that for other campaigns. Industry subroutine. Something different. Ah, yes. Cyber democracy. Neo Zapatismo. Thought requires every person to vote. Of course, all such votes. Ooh, my bad. Uh, will be counted by Zapata, and any wrong votes will be dealt with accordingly. That's right. Amen. Okay, all right, so with you. Ooh, we need a couple more divisions here. Self-replicating machinery, nice. Combat simulations, yes. Because actually, I'm going to take one off of you. Because we need at least one, two, three. Ooh, you know, let them come good. Let them come good. Uh, uh, let them come in. Uh, uh, that sounds, sounds weird. We need at least two divisions here, so. There you go. We need a lot of robots. Just a crap ton of robots. Electoral deadlock in the NCR. Oh, no, who cares? We don't. Of course. Military leader Koss. Legion Edward Beatty. Doesn't sound very Hispanic, but no matter. Ah, uh, primitive radios. So how, how are robots communicating if they don't have radios already on? Well, that shell, very nice. Don't ask me, I just, I'm just here to play the game. Dry plane attackers, you can go to the bottom. Your biggest downfall, only like roughly, not even two a day, kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Here, you look kind of hurt. Took part in the Siege of Vigilia. Supply Consumption Recovery Organization. Ooh, uh oh, uh-oh. Red Star. Alright, so. Hero of the Revolution. Oh, we have to go with that one. Hero of, of the Revolution. Nice. Get more construction speed, too. We're very slow in construction right now. Actually, we're still using this thing. Visiting appointments. Um, removed. Right now, we get more daily army XP gain. Of course, we could probably double up on that one. And we're actually at war. But do we have enough divisions for actually the front line? One, two, three, four, five, six. We barely have enough here. We d literally don't even have enough here yet. And we have enough here, so. I'm sure they can finally pierce us, though. Ooh! The revolution is not yet lost. Let the people of Mexico will not let something as minor as a nuclear war stop the Martian Revolution. The nation will look at that, uh, dev devote all of its resources to build a communist society. As soon as we understand what that entails, of course. Ooh, better production costs. This is growth in our. In our oh, God. Resistance cost, resistance growth speed in our, co in our states occupied by the enemy. Plus 75%. Holy crap. So we ever get any tiles taken. That's pretty damaging, actually. That's very, very damaging. Um, Zapata's law bars. Yes, please. Some of Mexico's women can do anything, would do anything for Zapata. Our workers' militia? 
For the ruckus is the pod is real, and will gladly fight for the revolution. Especially as the pod is I boss encourage them. The rising star. So, the pod is convinced that the way sun is well suited. Neo anarcho zapatismo thought he can govern society. Uh, cool. Uh, let's see. Party advisors. Well, we already have max out stability. We can instruct the people of Mexico by the benefits of neo uh, anarcho zapatismo. Pretty worth thought. Many Americans turned to leftist ideology before the Great War, given that they lived in a quasi fascist dystopia. Perhaps we can learn from them? And Chinese size. It only takes 10 days. Well, look at that. Good luck. Uh, perhaps we made a mistake by letting Zapata read Neo Mouse Traps from the 21st Century. Forward with a five year plan. Oh, we have two divisions here. Okay, let's see what we can do. This might be bad. They immediately start attacking us. Can we at least hold a line in general? The answer to that is, of course, yes. Si, sí, senor. Si. Sí. You know what? Let them attack. Just let them attack. Again and again and again and again and again. Well, how many have we lost? We lost four versus 220. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, come on. What are we paying you for? Oh, hello. Oh! Oh, crap. They're actually killing each other like that. Look at that. The revolution is not yet lost. Very cool. Well, we got all these focuses we can do now. Um, ah, we want lovers. We 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 are a loving nation here, specifically me. But you know, whatever. Um, workers, militia. Yeah, why not? They don't seem like to want to move very much. Can you guys move? Maybe. Oh, they're still attacking too. Well, we can attack back too. More decryption. Attack them, they attack us, you know, we're all, we're just a bunch of lovers. Mocha lovers. I tried. Darn trip. The rising star. Ten day focus. Good god. Murphy's Law. Oh. Perhaps democracy is negotiable after all. Go figure. Um, nice. And party advisors? Sure. Sure. If you want to. Why not? Mm, radio. Free war thought, yes, please. It's only another 10 day focus, my god. That's so nice, but it seems a little uh, very fast because of the focuses. Which I'm not going to complain too much, but still. Nope, there goes Aurelius' Legion. Alright, you guys can go and do it, why not? Ew, three divisions now. Look at that. And Chinese ties. Public projects are nice. Construction. Resource efficiency gain. Oh, tales from afar. Mexico is not the only land of titans and fallen empires. Traders across the north are a frequent sight in our lands, and they bring with them tales of adventure and heroism that put the Atzlani Jaguar warriors to shame. A few of these stories have become local favorites, but as the water merchants gather around the fireplace, which one should we hear today? The chosen one. The Great Calculator. Do you have any new stories by chance? I want to hear stories of the Great Calculator. Do we not get any stories? God dang it, I wanted stories. <laughs> Got high-end robots. The well, let us children deploy only as more primitive robots, trusting none of them to fully manage Mexico, but he's not around anymore, is he? Of course not. And then we'll do pre-war robots. The so had access to some of the most, uh, of, of America's pre-war greatest robots. So do we now. Uh, unlock the lost garages. The so left bunkers of pre-war vehicles scattered across his empire. We can access them to equip our forces. Take to the skies. With the lock gone, it's time for us to reclaim the skies from the upstart humans. Yeah, that'd probably be a good thing to do. So, I usually do waste on autonomy because I like it better. I think it's better overall. Direct control, though. Um, you know what? We went full left. Let's go full left for this one. Because we'll go right, direct control, and another campaign. Because we still have to do, at the time of this recording, Imperial Mexicano and Moctezuma. So, I'm not super upset if we go down that route. Robotics, please. Hello. 
Sirs, senores. Good. Oh, just devastating them. Um, sure, we'll go with that one. Uh, sure. I break the army. Santa Ana thinks he can run Mexico, but it lets to whom the army serves people, not the other way around, and Moctezuma must fall. Moctezuma thinks he can unite Mexico, but the real bonds stand for class sol solidarity. Let's knock out this pretender. And they establish themselves, which is fine. Now they're completely out of political power. We're going to do that one. And honestly, I want more research speed. We can't get that because I already spent all my political power. Hey, they died. I'm not even halfway paying attention to the, uh, the war. Like, we start off, like, paying attention to it, and then I'm just like, whatever. Could we take out... Oh, shnikes. They got thick. Ooh, does that mean they don't have a lot of manpower? Oh, they do have a lot of manpower. But they're currently at war with someone else, too. They have no robots. Probably like us. Ooh, ooh. And it probably wouldn't take very much for us to destroy them. Nice. Not sure where to shove you, so I'll go there. We don't have that many divisions, but honestly, they don't have that many cores. Like this is all the cores right here where my mouse is. So like pushing in fast and quickly is probably what we could do. And do if you want to read about traders from Y, please go right ahead. No, we could use political power. California state. Oh, look, they all are going to kill each other. Yay! Nice. Precision motors, huh? Oh, it's already there. More breakthrough, more organization. Beautiful. The Chain Choir. So, Redding. Oh. Californian State. Californian Way. Baja. Country. Old World Blues. It's only 15 days, yeah. You don't have to do the focus if it takes only 15 days, right? We got a lot of CNC robots. That'd be, lo that'd be lovely to take them. It's a here. Are they fight? But they're in the war, right? Oh! They're just fighting against them. We actually might want to wait then to attack them then we can justify on them but let them do what they're going to do first let's do it like that 40 cases a little more stability never hurt but that's all right uh they might actually go to war with them. why do they want to go to war with those guys oh hello foreign claims ah that uh makes sense standardized tools nice 0.26 is not bad for a population of 164,000, 165,000 basically. So much population, I love it. Just in case, uh, build an airbase down here. At least one, we don't have that many planes anyways, but we'll also start using them. Prospectors, ah, yay! Metalworking. Um, let's go and do that one. We need more factory output. So we're still, uh, we're always at a consistent negative 1,200 to 1,300 combat robots. Seems about fair. Oh, we don't need more scrap. That is not ideal. Rob Coal Sultrons. Those are heavies, right? No, they're light robots. They're oh, okay. Support robots. Interesting. Yeah. They're sophisticated. Love them. Mr. Blasto, huh? That's cool. So they're busy down there. Um, they're actually doing very well against them, for now. Uh, would we actually be able to do anything against these guys? Imperial Mexico just has too many divisions for us to fight right now. How strong are they? Ooh. I could probably turn you over here, actually. Send that one over here first.
Jitchen is just is not setting up to these guys. What is wrong with you? Return the Legion. Get the division to where it needs to be. You might do well, you might not. Oh, that's good to get. Then we gotta start focusing on intelligence agency too. What is anarcho zapatismo thought without an intelligence agency? Nice. Well, let's see what happens. Maybe it'll be great. Maybe it won't be. Hey, we get it on. Actually, that'd be really good. Huh. <laughs> they got from sure a lot of factories. Oh god, yes. Oh Jesus Christ, yes. Do they start attacking us? Yeah, they do. That's not good. Don't beat the crap out of them there. They don't attack over there, which is fine. San Luis. Uh, if you get done... Oh, come on. God dang it. What are we doing? Oh, hello. What the garbage are you doing? Leave one right there. It's fine. Why don't you stay there? You get right there, you're gonna circle them. That's fine. There you go. Airport defense. There you go. That's fine. Hey, at least we destroyed one enemy division. It's nice. Uh. Oh! Uh, I was not ready for that. Are they allied? What, the barnacles? They are out. How are they allied? Um, I just want to take them out, so maybe we'll redo this, just because we don't have enough strength to take them all out by ourselves. So, uh, we might just push forth, uh, forward next time. Maybe Las Granjas, perhaps? Maybe Imperio Mexicano? But hey, if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we try to take out all of Mexico. Thanks for watching, have a tremendous rest of your day.